Dude, doesn't that rip? You're an idiot. No, you're an idiot. Welcome back to our hot Patreon listeners only. Uggos, you can stay, but you're going to have to pay more starting next week. How do you feel about that one, Jim? Oh, uh, they're all hot. Everyone in the Patreon's hot. I no, think that's true. No, I just said... Oh, Uggos well, have to pay more? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and we have to message them individually if we think they're ugly. Actually, yeah. if you're a Patreon listener, which this is on the Patreon, which you're listening, send us a picture of you. Oh, no, no, no. I did not want to open those floodgates. Your people will, they'll send some horned up shit. That could be I interesting. Don't, I don't want your people or my people sending pics. No nudes. No trouble. nudes. No nudes. Face only. How about a pic from Christmas? Sure. A holiday pic of you and your family. We'll allow that. All your skin I wanna, covered. I want to know what you guys really look like. Yes. I guess and we can find them on Instagram. Maybe we maybe. should introduce the guest, Drago. Oh, yeah. We got a big guest today. Friend of the pod. Friend of us. One of my really great buds, amazing comic, Amir Joaquim. Very good What's intro up? that time. That was so nice. Well, that was I, really good. I got I, a shoulder I mean, I tap, actually, too. He I fucked up like Ismail's know. intro. He wouldn't say his name. I saw that. He that was, was so scared funny. of it. He was scared your move, of the name. Your move of, what, Jeff? Why don't you do it? <laughs> it's so funny and also so relatable. I do that so many times on stage if I'm like co-hosting with Bacchus. Yeah. And I forget the person's credits or something. Oh, I'm just like, wow. Matt, you want to do the honors? <laughs> yeah. It's the best bailout. Bringing up somebody. <laughs> when you don't know their name and you're scrambling to remember their name yeah it's like tim you, you, smith i'll forget oh my dude I, I'll, I'll butcher it. Yeah. I still fuck up serrani's last name all the time you know serrani no oh yeah, yeah. i just knew uh i don't she, think i could do it i still don't head. know how to yeah. say it i messed it up every time can yeah. i be honest though i'm like really funny i'm, comment, I'm ethnic but i fucking butcher ethnic names and i feel like there's mm -hmm. an extra pressure for me to nail every <laughs> name they're and like you're fake so, if you don't get it oh my god i do get like a little like shame like that i'm like don't fucking put this on me okay whoa it's racist of you to assume that i would also know that what's also because they think every brown person's name is the same language but you know yes. they think it's from the same culture so yeah, that's what yeah, they're yeah. thinking they're like you know every brown yeah culture. Yeah. yeah they're like my name's indian why don't you know it i'm like it's a different continent <laughs> yeah. I, I was about close, to say right <laughs> how often do people get your ethnicity wrong to like, to your face guessing it or yeah. you're saying, saying my like how often saying? do people guess it people don't even guess oh okay because it, it's pretty pretty you're pretty ambiguous they will either nail it or just not or just ask they're just either, like, either they're like what what are you or they'll be like you're lebanese aren't you really oh yeah, yeah, yeah. interesting they it's won't a weird specific okay. one they won't just just throw one out there. i think in their heads they assume i've heard a lot of people after meeting me being like oh i always thought you were like palestinian or like syrian or like they'll just kind of have a they'll have a middle the east ballpark guess. guess okay yeah yeah I feel yeah. like people in indiana has, like to guess has no that. one ever has, has no one ever especially midwest dudes has no one from the midwest ever like gone half black for you I've gotten Puerto Rican. Really? Yeah. Can you grow a fro? <laughs> it gets a little curly. It, and not a, it doesn't get like tight curls, but it gets like I like can, long... I can just see Indiana bros being like, hey, I oh. got a meal. <laughs> Dude, like, I mean, in Indiana, they had no yeah. fucking idea. Yeah, yeah, Lebanon, saying, they're, you're teaching There's no them way about yeah, Lebanon. Yeah, yeah. They're like, lesbians? <laughs> what? They're still doing that. <laughs> oh, they, they did that. You get that joke a lot. My sister used to get it. Oh, God. Dude, she had a oh, friend no. in like uh, junior high or something. This is like whatever, years ago. And, uh, she came back to school and she told my sister, she's like, hey, like, we can't be friends anymore. Like, I told my mom I made a friend who was a lesbian. Oh, my God. Or whatever, like, lesbianese. And then her mom made her stop talking to my sister. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then and she found, found out we were Lebanese and she's like, you still can't fucking <laughs> talk to her, to be honest. But That's oh. actually worse. We yeah, actually yeah, don't yeah, like yeah. that. Oh, my God. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, Holy crazy. shit. That's crazy to monitor your child's friends like that. Hey, you know, it was that, 2005. It's different times. Different, different times. Time. My mom actually did that to, uh, like, one of my friends. Part, like, he asked me to go to church with him and his family. Yeah. Weird. A after, Those families are weird. After, like, a sleepover. Oh. But also and, a Serbian Orthodox mother would be like, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, you do yeah. not take Eucharist at another <laughs> church. <laughs> yeah. You don't touch the blood it, it of was, Christ. It was my friend, right. my buddy Luke. His mom was coming to pick him up. And he was like, my mom wants to know if you want to come to church with us. And my mom, she goes, can I see the phone, Luke? And she goes, hi, yeah, it's Anna. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, we we go to our own church. We go. You're gonna be okay. Cool. You'll be here in a half hour. Great. Awesome. It's just oh my like, god. I mean, that is a crazy ass. Can I take your child? That to is church? wild. We're just gonna indoctrinate your child. Totally. That's fun. You don't eat the blood of Christ. That's actually or drink. They don't do that. No, we get it at the end. Yeah, they do get the blood. Yeah, they okay. Get a, they get a chunk of bread. Though. Oh, they get like you a, don't like get the baked. wafer. No. You get like a, oh. Yeah, you get like a little square. Whoa. It looks like a sugar cube. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Good for you guys. Wait, I feel like I've been before, and they get you. They just give you like a chunk of bread. No, it's when is like, that? It's like it, it's, it's uh, some people just just cut it up into like actual like but a it's bunch like of a pieces. loaf of bread that was baked the day before. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's like it's chopped. Bread. It's like chopped up. Yeah, it's oh. not like it's like good for the Catholic reason. I mean, of compared like just to needing that, having yeah, needing to have some guilt in your life. To be like, pain. Make the bread shitty. Make too. it the worst. It is thing weird to think about. Yeah, yeah. It's weird to think about. No, because like uh, also it's in a it's in a cup of wine. Oh, the bread's in the wine. It's in the. It's it's chopped up in the wine. I know this vividly. And and well, uh, he's shaking when he's yeah. telling us, <laughs> dude. And uh, now that I'm and then after about, the and priest, priest brings you back, <laughs> he makes you drink well, all the wine. Well, now that I'm thinking and then about it, you don't it. remember what then happened. You get really dude, sleepy. Everyone dude. gets like a piece of this, like in the mouth, like on. They put their hand in the wine to get the bread out. No, it's like so he puts his. Uh, he, he takes it out with like a spoon. What? And, 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 and I don't remember this detail. And there's a little, yes. sp- there's like a little wine on the spoon too, and you're all just drinking a you're little. You're still wine. just getting someone's like warm spoon in your mouth. Oh. It's, still, getting, it's not even clear. You're getting someone else's spoon every time. That's horrible. <laughs> I'm, yeah, you're I'm all sharing the sure. same spoon. You know, like this when you sit in someone's chair and it's warm from they sat from when they <laughs> yeah. sat, but you're doing it with a metal spoon with in your metal mouth. Spoon, yeah. oh my god! I remember that. There's yeah. like chunks of bread from their mouth. That so th- I, the I think that I think that was only maybe for like Christmases and like maybe like Easter's something like that. Because I, 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 I think, I think <laughs> yeah, because I think the other the <laughs> other times it, they always no. have Jesus in the church all year all year long. <laughs> but the other time it was you just kiss the cross and you get the bread. The kissing the cross thing is another germ thing where I was always like, this is unnecessary. Did you go to Serbian Orthodox church? couple times oh, my mom's really? serbian orthodox oh yeah, really? yeah, yeah. Oh, show wow. face a little show face yeah, i mean this is in. like we're talking once every five years yeah, yeah. is it you stand up the whole time that's what he was telling up. me yeah that's if, crazy much, yeah my mom is like proud of her like Serbian heritage, but I think even deep down she's like that shit sucks. That's why like we, she doesn't make us go. I think Dude, everyone's it's... like that about their mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's stupid. Yeah. I'd rather. Yeah, totally. that actually sucks more than ours. It's you like got, three hours. Got, it's a long time. It smells like incense. Up. Just the whole. They're like just like they're just vaping it in the air. I mean, oh, not vaping. They're it's like really, yeah, it does smell like vaping. Yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah, It's really, really intense. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> is it a long sermon? Does the preach go like nuts? It's so, a lot of guttural like singing and stuff. So is it, it Serbian and it's in singing? Serbian. So oh. it just sounds, it feels like you're getting, like you're in like a trip. Like it, wow. cause you're kind of dizzy and lightheaded from all the smoke <laughs> and you're like tired cause you're standing up. It is weird. Wait, it's Drago, a... can you sing a Serbian song? No, no, you no. You don't remember any oh, of them? Oh God, not yeah, off you the do. top of my head. <laughs> oh, you do. Do you remember any of them? No, not Damn, at all. Damn, I would love if you remembered a little Serbian song. If I like, if I had my sister on the line right now, she would be able to. Your sister listens to the jog, pod? Jog my can memory Can we call her up bit. one time? I would love to hear. Let me, let me see if she answers. You know Call the, your sister Do you know the up. Serbian national anthem? No, no. <laughs> Damn, bad Serb. Oh, yeah. Can't we hook her up? We oh, can hook shit. her up. Yeah, can you? Yeah, let's, okay, we're going to get our first call in. Actually, second. We had that one. But yeah, let's try it again. Let me see okay. if we can do this here. Is Wait, your sister fine. at work right now? No. Oh, okay. The whole Dragovich family doesn't like to work, huh? No. Interesting. I love that. Oh, wow. We Isn't she a, a Patreon member? No. She like, she listens, though. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hey, Diana. <laughs> What's up? You're on, the, you're on uh, the, the, the podcast right now. <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about uh, Serbian church. Do you remember any of the songs that people would sing, like or that that like the choir would sing at all, and how they would go? Um, L- really, really, during, yeah, really let it rip. One. By the way, too, this is we're not judging it's you. It's like fully anti-Semitic. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Kill the Jews. <laughs> What's that one man from uh, on Christmas? It's like. Talk, 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 Nikolai Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't. Re- oh, my God. Dude, what? that brings back pain. Do you man. remember what it's called? Oh, no. I don't remember what the Damn. hymns are called. No, that's true. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I don't remember it. I just remember it sounding a lot like the Halo, the Halo sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mom, mom's letting it go in the corner here. <laughs> oh, does your mom know it? Oh, she's yeah. singing it. Do you want? Do you? Does mom know? Does mom want to sing one? Yeah, could she sing into the phone? One of the uh, Serbian choirs. Why? Song. Just let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it. Not- okay. All right. Yeah, she doesn't have to. She's. <laughs> 
All right, Dion. All right, thank you. Uh, this thank you for uh, answering the phone. This actually sounds great. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's cool. good. It's so we good. can yeah, we, we can call from the pod now. Thank you. We're I'm gonna call you to every week feel, now. Feel free to join the Patreon sometime. All right. I'm I'll, excited. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm excited to listen to myself. Thank you. All right, I'll talk to you later. Patreon only. See ya. She, your mom was not happy. My mom was like, why? <laughs> why are you are you mocking Serbian culture? Are you and your little friends mocking our culture? <laughs> That's exactly she what was it so was. She was so disappointed you didn't know it. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. Oh, she absolutely was. Yeah, she Did you go every week? Uh pretty until uh, until basketball like it was legitimately every week until like eighth grade until they were like he's basketball now he doesn't need god anymore. yeah legitimately yeah, yeah maybe legitimate god would have helped dude. you a little bit yeah. if you would have kept going probably could have used some god i used to i don't know if i said this on the bro wait before. i have a question for you since you were so good at basketball were you like the kid amongst serbians like were they all like because there's a show, big serbian well, community well, serbians Chicago. love basketball and if you played d1 i bet they were like you they were like how many serbian up. guys were in d1 there how, many, how many, many serbian godfathers do you have <laughs> how many guys say they're your god we had some uh, uh, cool. just some towards, belgrade towards, warlords yeah. just hitting towards, you up towards my uh some, he's getting sponsored by the russian mafia <laughs> junior senior year there's a there's a there's a serbian guy that would bring other serbian dudes and he was from uh maywood and he used to bring other a couple of Serbian guys that came to my games in Northbrook. So and like, they'd like so cheer you they'd, on. They'd be like three fat Serbian bros. Yeah, bro, in track suits. Yeah. Sideline no, at a high school game. And they had no connection <laughs> to your high school. <laughs> and they would come, and then uh, they would come. To, uh, they also came to the Proviso West Holiday Tournament. So they were just like s- s- chilling there. Oh yeah, they were goons. You had yeah, goons. Yeah, yeah, and they were hanging out with like my parents and stuff like that. Oh my, oh god. my god. They offered you protection. Did they yeah. come to your shows? No. Damn. No. They don't want to, they don't support Serbian comedy. Well, no, they're like, way. he's doing stand up? That's gay now. <laughs> no, it wasn't, wasn't supportive it anymore. wasn't until like it really wasn't until like junior, senior year of high school where people were like, Oh shit, like this kid's like and then obviously in college and then what happened was in college when they started saying Dragovich on ESPN and like whatever whatever network we were playing on. My dad and I got a couple emails. I probably got I probably got two or three. My dad probably got two or three. Somehow they got my dad's. But I, I sorry, I got Facebook messages. My dad somehow got a couple emails. People were like Serbian dudes were writing, being like, "They're not saying your name right." Oh it's, my it's, god! It's Dragicevic. Make sure they say Dragicevic. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. We already sent them a letter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're saying, "Yeah, it's like you're disrespecting." So like, much Serbian. blood has been spilled to protect this name. Yeah, we gotta yeah. say. And it my right. crowbar over the journalist's yeah. knees <laughs> just as he's laying there screaming. <laughs> Dragicevic. And, and, and my dad was like, the re- he actually changed it from Dragicev saying Dragicevic his whole life growing up to when he was in the army they changed it they were just like we're going to call you Dragovic his oh like, it wasn't yeah. Dragicevic it was Dragicevic well it, it's the Americanized version is Dragicevic but like if you talk to anyone that's Serbian that's Dragicevic God. Alexander that sounds way more Serbian Drag- yeah Dragicevic. I love that that's a great name Dragovic kind of lame but Dragicevic Dragovic in America uh, plays so much it better it plays very yeah. yeah I agree and also uh, I don't know if I I, was just, I told my buddy this yesterday I don't think I've told you this yet my uh, my name for a day was Marco. <laughs> Marco. <laughs> Which For is so day? Serbian. Wait, right? then they changed it? it just didn't Your parents were like, we, we <laughs> just can't. That's yeah. too many. My dude. dad came home and my mom apparently was like crying. She was like, he's not a Marco. He's not a Marco. We got to change it. Oh, and it's Marco yeah, with a dude. K too, isn't it? M A R K O. Yeah, yeah. She probably knew some Marco that was like a Serbian fuckboy <laughs> at the S- SNF tournament. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh so, my God! Marcos put their cigarettes out in beer. Yeah. Just oh flick it in yeah. A beer can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was Marco. They had to, do they have to go in and change it on your birth certificate? Do you have? Do they have a Marco so. birth certificate somewhere? I'm not sure. I wonder Probably. if there is one somewhere. Yeah. But yeah, I was Marco for a day. They paid money to change it then. Yeah. They and, spelled that and my, strongly. And my sister's name is Diana. On her birth certificate, it says it's Dunica. So everyone, it's D A N I C A. So Dunica. Oh, so that's, that's the yeah. Serbian version of Diana. Yeah, and oh. that's. So that's like everyone in my family, everyone in our church called her Dunica. My brother's name is actually, is actually it's Bobby, but it's actually Bushko. B O S K O. So on but, his birth certificate it says it says Bushko. But he never goes by that. No. Wow. Bobby. You guys are Bobby, actually Diana, Serbian. Alex. Super Serbian. I thought you were faking it. I mean, yeah, if you're I still really getting named did. Bushko, yeah, you're, yeah. you're doing it. Your Damn, parents are there at church that. every week. I no, thought we, you guys were we giving it up. We grew up like super into it. Serbs are very into being Real, Serbian. Really? And it yeah, ends yeah. with you, though, I bet. I made sure that it stopped. <laughs> it will not well, keep going. Also, when it was like, especially 
playing basketball, like going to tournaments and stuff like that. I don't know. I just thought it was like, and also I thought like my middle school friends, I thought my non-Serbian friends were like cool. I thought the Ser- I just thought being, it was, I went so much and my other friends were so lax about their, their kind of church going. I felt like it was cult. I felt like it was, I felt like being Serbian and being that into it was weird. I wanted to be like a, like a real, like, a minute, like you a, wanted to be an Applebee's I, white. Yeah, I was, like, I, was, yeah I was like, I don't want to be like a Serbian American. I just want to be a fucking American. Wow. You know, and yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that was pretty like, okay. I remember like consciously being like, that was very. You'll like, have an awakening. Me. Don't you think? Don't you think we'll have Maybe. a cultural awakening when, one they're, day? when they're booking Serbians <laughs> on everything? When Serbian is the <laughs> new <laughs> minority? <laughs> we he's going back to Marco Dragon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Marco Dragon is so Dragic far Savage. from that right now. It's so funny. Alex yeah. Dragovic used to be Marco Dragic. <laughs> I can't even say Dragic. Yeah. Once there's a movement for Balkan diversity, you're absolutely in. There's like, there's yeah, no right Eastern now. Europeans on this show, and you're like, uh, uh, what about me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. Serbian boy. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you know Serbian? Comedy Central's like, we just need one Eastern European. <laughs> <laughs> one Eastern there, European who yeah. doesn't want to kill the Who's Jews. Just one. How many yeah, years yeah. before that is? 80 years, you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Before that comes back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The other that way. is full circle. The dying white race. Yeah. yeah. I'll be there. When white I'll people are there. 2% of the population in, in 20 years. <laughs> yes, dude. When we've bred ourselves out of existence. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's that's when, it, that's when it all happened. That's when this pod will take off. <laughs> <laughs> the last white men. Yeah. The last white men. We're still going to be kept, potting. You're going to be in a spaceship. Because Earth is just blown to, yeah. blown to hell. Yeah. Wait. Wait. What did we say? Uh, what did we ask yesterday? Or what did I asked last uh, last episode? Climate I, change versus what? What were we talking about? Deaths. I think that's a good question. Oh, what actually. will kill more people? Climate change or what was it? Do you remember what it was? What was Fons? it, Fons? In the next ten years, myocarditis. Think, oh yeah. Well, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It was. My, this is Dragos. Do you think there'll be more co- coronavirus related death? Coronavirus related deaths. Whether it's Sh- shots. <laughs> he, he's anti-vax. He's anti-vax. Alex is anti-vax. The, yeah, we not, covered that in the Serbian. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. There'll be more coronavirus-related deaths. Also, it could spawn. Like it could like multiple. Whatever. Sure, a related virus. I'll give yeah, you that. Or, or will it be or climate change in the next ten years? What more? What will is there a more correct deaths? answer? This is just a no, no. It's we, hypothetical. We yeah, we, we I know. said climate change. You posed it as the vaccine before. I I know. I said, what do you think would be more? Think, Coronavirus related? I or... think you posed it as vaccine related deaths. But no, it's still, corona I, or vaccine. I still say corona climate or change. Vaccine. I'm still going climate change. I'm, I don't know anything about climate. I tune out of climate change. Though. That's there smart. There we go. Okay, really smart. Do, so first I don't know. off, Jeff would be reaming me if I said, first, I love that sentence. I tune out of climate change because I do too. I do. I know it's a bad liberal move, but, you, but I, every time I look at Twitter and I see a climate change thing, I, I just, I fucking can't care see, about this. But I go, it, dude. It's you, too depressing. Thank Get you. it the fuck out of it's here. Different. Why, why can Emil say and I can't? Because you tune out of everything. Uh, <laughs> he chose one topic. I, I, to I didn't know at. the mayor of New York like 30 He minutes, didn't know so the now. mayor of New York. I also did tune out of politics like that. Let's go. You know year. the mayor of New York. I'm becoming a dumber person intentionally. God, and it's so smart. But that. I'm getting so much it's happier. Great. It's crazy. It's great. I you swear to God. You know New York. You don't have to. You don't have to. Damn. Who is it? Eric Adams. I, I, if I had a multiple choice, I could get that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. You're smart. I mean, politics is stupid. I'm not that into it, but yeah. But that's a big, that's, yeah, obviously the big part of the pod is I just get called out. I tune out. You tune out I might out be right everything. in the middle of you two. I, I think you are be... right in the middle, I bet. I would actually like you to say one thing about Lebanon. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay, buddy. He just points to me. Yeah. This, I know him. He's <laughs> there. <laughs> He's the guy. He's my one They're thing. They're not all lesbians. Yeah. Do, we, do we eat Lebanese in uh, Bloomington? Uh, do we go to a Lebanese place? Damn, that's really good. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, we went to a ge- kebab food truck. <laughs> <laughs> We went to oh, Donor Kebab. No, it was it was that <laughs> restaurant. No, it was that restaurant that me, you, and Mo went to, and Jamie. That was, was Greek. Re- oh. Trojan horse. <laughs> Trojan horse? It was Greek. Oh. It was Greek. Oh. He's like, what? I thought the Phoenicians did the Trojan horse. Oh. He has a somehow smarter answer to his yeah, dumb fuck would, up. He knows act, the Phoenicians, but that not would that. actually be great. It's, but it's it not tastes true. good. It was good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were eating euro. <laughs> yeah, straight up euros, dude. <laughs> you got euros mixed. I mean, Lebanese food is. Semi. What, yeah, what is Lebanon? Like, yeah, it is, is similar. What is like similar. Similar. To Alex, it is. This, like, to, honestly, that's not that far. I'll get it. Yeah, not terribly I, off. That's not that far. It's not off. terribly off. Yeah. Uh, where do you is, think uh, Lebanon is in the world? Middle East somewhere. Uh, okay. 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 I like that he doesn't I'll even say, try to. <laughs> he does just. He doesn't even person. attempt. Well, get, no. What country is close to it? Give me one. 
one is famously close to famously touches a lot of stuff happens there some would say is it cl- is it, okay is it it's one of the t- the main two you could think yeah, of yeah it really it head. really is the the main ones probably the two main ones yeah. you would know yeah is it really cl- is is it close to israel palestine or no yeah, it's touching Israel. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. There you go, touching <sighs> Palestine. Perhaps I don't know. About another, that. another day. Another dummy lips <laughs> for another, another day. Another, another day. The Zionist sweat. <laughs> the Zionists <laughs> won't see get another us today. day. You should, you should start calling people like, uh, like, who wants to be a millionaire? Oh, you for, should for, get, for, a you phone should, wait, get a phone of friend. Wait, That's you're a great. Chicago suburb guy as well. Yeah. Did you have? Oh, during, really? During, I thought yeah. you were from Blooming. During that time. Uh, Obviously, there's been like a conflict for a long time, but there was like a month of concentrated where like I feel like everyone from my high school. I thought he was gonna say between Chicago and Indiana or something, comparing it to <laughs> Israel and Palestine. But, uh, <laughs> between the suburbs in the city, it felt a lot like <laughs> but, like, a lot like an intifada. Gaza. Yeah, <laughs> I had like like a ton of like Jewish friends constantly posting being pro-Israel, and a ton and a ton of like. I guess everyone else was <laughs> yeah. uh, just for one month. P- this posting. is when this is back probably in- when was it? Maybe wh- when were those? I mean, I feel like this happens all the time. Yeah, I feel like this I is all over. I can't this think of just those in. posts. So were pretty. It was a concentrated period of time when maybe the conflict was at its. Oh, there was like in like two thousand eight or nine. No, no, this was last year. People Wait, were last year. year. Do, you, do you remember this? Some phones? some like just young Israeli or Palestinian girl just like got shot because she's like fourteen. Oh, one of those instances. Oh, it was, yeah, uh, yeah. When America cared about Israel and Palestine. When when America yes. was like it was in our news cycle for yeah, yeah. Well, my, that was uh, hilarious to watch <laughs> everyone <laughs> fucking go oh what is going on over there and then two weeks later I'd be like we're done we're bored oh, <laughs> yeah back to mimosas back oh, to my. Ukraine well, it, it was just all well, my... then Ukraine took the news they're all it was just all, yeah, all, yeah, all my college yeah. friends and all my like now comedy friends were just like we're like like clearly like pro Palestine and everyone from high school because I'm from Northbrook is right like, pro Israel oh, so oh yeah like, for sure. So, yeah. A lot of uh, conservatives are pro Israel, I believe. I think yeah. so, yeah. yeah. But a lot of liberal Jewish people are too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, most people are pro. I bet 80% of America is pro. The crazy thing was really? when you see like, I bet like 70 maybe. When you see like racist guys, like politicians that are like really conservative and they pick us, it's just crazy. Like that, That's how much they hate terrorism and brown uh, people. Oh, yeah. Is yeah. that they're like, Let, let's team up with Jews. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, These guys yeah. are like, who do we hate more? They're just totally. like up at night, like, who do I hate more? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they picked. They picked. The it's Muslims. so close for them. They're it's like, so, we are. We yeah. don't know. They, we <laughs> could go either way, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if Israel started losing, they'd be like, go, go, Palestine. Go yeah, Palestine. yeah, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> I would love that actually. Drago, whose side are you on? Um, I think <laughs> it's, I think it's an ongoing war, and we need to. <laughs> it seems like Palestine, from what people say. <laughs> Okay, okay. It I don't, just seems I'm not, like Palestine. I'm not saying right or wrong. I'm interested to see. Okay, I think that's the right answer. I think women. Yeah, he's checking I mean, his Twitter feed. Hold yeah, on. He's, he's looking at the what, poll. Which yeah, one what, hot what, women what, like yeah, more? Yeah, what Lena Dunham The women say. you like are probably pro-Palestine, I bet. You think so? I bet they are, I, yeah. I You're into so. like liberal, like richer women. Yeah. Gotta be a lib. I'm trying to think. <laughs> uh, you don't give a shit. Would that be a deal breaker? I they voted Trump. Would that break a deal? I matched with a girl who was moderate once. Okay, and, you are you're moderate. And I said, "What do you mean by?" I guess I'm mo- I'm definitely moderate to you, but to this girl, I was like a pussy, like oh. liberal. I think oh, I, th- I think it, the conversation was like, I was like, "Oh, like how moderate are you, ever? How conservative?" And she was just like, I, "She was like, uh, she goes, I'm not a feminist if that's what you mean." And I was like, "Okay, I feel like I get what you." <laughs> yeah, I mean that yeah. is a, that is an all right. <laughs> if she's a, saying that, I'm out not of a can. Just, I'm not a feminist. Love, if that's yeah, what you yeah, mean. yeah. I'm just like. <laughs> I think I didn't maybe, vote for Hillary Clinton. If that's what you're fucking. Yeah. Ass, dude. That's what she wanted to say. So that means that means like, but that worked on some guys for her. Like some guys. Oh, and yeah. her will probably had a long conversation about being like, buddy. They they were they fucked that night. If they said if they opened with that, if they both yeah. found two conservative young people finding each other, oh, they have they to must fuck. be like they're like oh we have God. to make one tonight. Yeah, yeah. We have to they're getting repopulate. married in three months. Yeah. yeah. They're like lesbians. They're a lot like lesbians. They do move as fast as lesbians. They get yeah, married yeah, as yeah. quickly. That's true. A lot of denim. A lot of denim. <laughs> you know? A lot of denim, big vehicles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's similar. It does feel a little bit like a liberal bubble in some capacities, like when we're doing stand-up. And then like you, you will, like, you'll just see people from other walks of your life where you're like, who are just like, yeah, like I'm, a, I'm a conservative. And you're just like, what do you mean? What do you mean you're? Yeah, you're like, I'm from New York. Yeah, like, they, what? They, I haven't seen one of these in years. Yeah, they, they <laughs> yeah. say it. They say it so. It's like seeing deer when you go back to mid to the Midwest right. and yeah, you're yeah. driving. Dude, they, they say it in such, such a relaxed way. Like, yeah, like, I'm a conservative guy, and you're just like, oh yeah, like 
You're like a There's nice guy. There's 50 I, million of them. Right, right, right. It's yeah. a very, it, it's weird how it just kind of. Well, New York is such a bubble. You forget. Yeah. You it's, forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's refreshing sometimes. I like them. You perform for a lot of conservative people in Indiana, probably. Yeah, I think it's the best audience. It's not like who's like, not they're, they're crazy conservative, but you know the, what I mean? The like, like center like Midwest, right is yeah. like the best audience in the uh, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think so. A Midwest club is the best audience. They're like, did, you, did you do anything uh, downtown when you went back home? Did you do any, any, any Yeah, shows? I did one at Laugh Factory. Which oh, was sweet. Like, oh, great. nice. I've only owned like a couple spots there, but this one was like sold out. The Laugh that Factory room is crazy. Is great. It's the best, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love The, the Laugh Factory is such an awesome room because you can do, especially like for like growing material, because you can do like, you know, a few bar shows during the week and like kind of have like, an idea if your joke is good or whatever like oh that played for 20 people that played for 30 people but if 300 people don't laugh at your joke or kind of you're like you have such a good it, it's it really stands out you're like damn that joke if a joke only gets a third of that audience it's like damn that really isn't like an a joke if a joke yeah. bombs there twice you gotta cut it yeah or change it dramatically it's just yeah, it's, it's yeah, just yeah. it's just that many people yeah there's well so that's many. like the end goal so you're you're just testing your joke against like the sample size already you know yeah. what i mean a yeah. packed out room at that size, you're like, all right, well, this is the A level. Right. And it's a if random, you, it's a pretty random demographic. Exactly. Too. It's not just liberals. Yeah. Yeah. Not, it's pretty even, honestly. And yeah, if yeah. You, yeah. If you do, you can do a random show where, you know, half the audience or maybe 30% of the audience laughs at your joke, but it can get like kind of a good pop or you can kind of, you might hang on to a joke for a little longer just because it's not. But like when it's that many people fucking staring at you, it's just like, it's so clear. How good that joke is! Yeah. Would you guys run? Right would you, when you guys were there, were you comfortable enough there to like try shit out on packed shows, or was it like a still fucking? I could do maybe, maybe one or two. Jeff did all the time. It was I really. I, I mean, some, some, <laughs> guy, dude, some guy tried to fight Jeff at a show because oh, yeah, he was I, fucked around. Yeah, so a guy really. A guy, Tell me all the story. I, well, but this I, is like packed show. It's packed, not like ten people in the no, audience. No, Saturday. <laughs> no, dude, Saturday, the guy's like running near the guy. Oh, I liberal. He got the notebook out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three hundred people. Saturday. This is like right before. Before COVID, I don't remember what I said. This guy was like yelling, and I just—it wasn't very funny. I said he should have been aborted or something. It was like <laughs> oh, kind Jesus. of a bad riff, honestly. And yeah, he, just, yeah, yeah. he just stands up, takes off his shirt <gasps> to reveal a wife beater, and he starts like—it's like mad. Oh, this wow. massive bald white dude. He just starts walking towards the stage, and they literally just hired a security guard that day. Who this this guy is of this, this guy Servon? He drew drug him away. But I would have been beat the fuck up the day when before. When was this? Like right before COVID hit. Whoa. Probably like three months before then. Damn. Yeah, it was wild. Yeah, I got I pissed people off sometimes. Yeah. Happened in Nashville too. Could've, hey, could have been an Instagram reel. Could have been a reel. I wasn't filming. <laughs> that would have been a that, great reel. It That's why I view great. real life. Anytime I hear a cool moment in real life, I go, could have been a reel. Would have been, been way sicker if it was <laughs> caught though. If it's not a reel, it's not even worth sharing. Really, no, don't even say this. It's not even though. a memory. Memory. Yeah, I don't even talk. It's I fake. It's fake. There's no number to it, it's so fake. it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever make people mad in Indiana, like talking about like and anything? I never had like a. I'm trying to. I'm sure I had people walk out. I definitely like would walk people because they'll get pissed if you like make an abortion joke there or religion joke. Because the stuff. club I started at the Comedy Attic is great, but it's in a very liberal city. Right, right, outside, right inside of the like, southern Indiana. They, so but they, they get, trickle. They trickle in. Though, you'll for get sure. the occasional person who doesn't know that it's Bloomington, uh, and they see like the first two comedians are like both gay <laughs> and talking about being gay, and like everyone's yeah. like, and then you see these people in the crowd. They're like, "What the hell?" Did sign up? Like, <laughs> we did not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, two they gay got like people. a Groupon or something. They just have no <laughs> business being there. Yeah, just, I didn't know we let them have a microphone. Well, yeah, yet. it's just yeah. like Indiana racist dudes like coming in, seeing Emil on stage, and they're like, "I don't like." him and i don't know why yeah. <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> I don't know what he is they're, they're just yeah. too dumb to know how to be racist to you totally yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i don't know what it is yet but yeah, I, could I you tell me what fan. you are yeah. so i yeah, can yeah, say yeah. a like stereotype a to... yeah. <laughs> he's like i really doubt i'll warm up to this <laughs> it's <laughs> unlikely yeah 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 you're like yeah i'm from uh, I'm, I'm lebanese and they're just like what what what, what do I got? What's yeah, my, yeah, yeah. Like, what's my big? That, <laughs> he's googling it. Yeah, it's like, what's my fucking? What's is my? Is that terrorist or lazy? Which <laughs> yeah, one do yeah, I go? Yeah. Which angle are we yeah, going yeah. here? Is that terrorist which, or lazy? <laughs> which war is he responsible yeah. for? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gulf or Afghanistan? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn. Honestly, though, though, I do kind of miss those guys a little bit because it was fun to have that edge against you during. 
a right. show. Right. When you, you know, know no one's going to fight back, it takes away the urgency of it a little bit. Yeah, it takes away the bite of uh, like, yeah. ooh, like. And when those guys like you, that's a great feeling, too. That was the best part is like, if you could get the joke to work for them, you were like, that's oh, a great joke. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, when yeah. you know it's the best. That was joke. the best. That's why those audiences are the, are, but like, if the you best. If you get a yeah, table yeah. of five dudes in camo to laugh, I'm like, oh, this is a great joke. Totally. Yeah. This is a universal joke. But you, yeah. you do have a joke about about like growing up and how you say, and they're like, uh, I don't know what they say, but you're like, I don't know, I just want to go to the, go to your birthday party. Like, what's that? Oh, uh, uh, the like, why don't you speak Arabic? Thing? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. People now being like, why don't you fucking speak Arabic? And it's like, because it was fucking. I was blending in. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> the, I was undercover. Alive. I was like fucking undercover agent for ten years. Now it's fucking <laughs> like that's just now they're disappointed in you almost. Well, like, yeah, really now they're just kind of like are. totally. Like, yeah, why'd yeah. you give up your call? Like the Jargisa yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like you, you're the reason. Yeah, so, <laughs> right. that joke is so fucking good. Oh, thanks. That's but, great. but when uh, is there any like like that joke stems from like growing up and immediately noticing like w was there kind of like whether they knew it or not what's the word I'm like like, ig like sort of like childishly like ignorantly being kind of like saying like fucked up shit to you or was it oh like, yeah bullied totally. at all or was yeah it yeah, yeah, like yeah middle school was like uh they were i went to an irish catholic school oh, so wow. they were all like what the fuck is this guy <laughs> how did you get and in honestly here? i don't play i mean they're like seven and they're like i had like a fucking unibrow oh and like a fucking it wasn't crazy <laughs> but it would definitely like grow in and i have to get it plucked and sh like i was an intense looking kid wow <laughs> it came intense. in early for you it comes in early it came in early oh wow. yeah, yeah, yeah oh that's fun and then, but so okay. they were just like they were fucking and they don't get any facial hair no dude no. they were all like pale with freckles like black <laughs> hair like pale skin and, and, and you're, you're going yeah. to an irish catholic like so you're going to a private school at this point or was it a pub or you or was it a public middle school this was a private cat yeah catholic middle school Damn, but then so... public high school and it was fine in high school okay so then high school, high school was... was chill but you're yeah uh Big group of friends in middle school, or just a couple guys who. Or, I did what, pretty good in middle school. Like I still like had friends. I was, but it, it was, was just, a lot of self-deprecating. Like, oh, well, he's the fucking. Well, the hero. first week, oh. the first week was just a little jarring. Oh, They're, getting in there. Or, as, as, I guess, like, is that what you mean by being people? People be like, the, you being an intense-looking dude for them. Was that is that what you mean? Like the first week. Yeah, or? I guess so. Just from the bat, they were all like, we don't really. This <laughs> were they is making like, like nine eleven shit? Were they making like nine eleven? No, jokes I don't even really that? remember nine oh, eleven jokes. It was more just kind of like they were like. You know, you didn't really fit the mold because they were all these like Abercrombie and Fitch oh, kids, totally, right, totally. Right, and they yeah. all played football. And like, I'm playing tennis, and I'm like, yeah. you know what I mean? We're just not like hanging. We're yeah. not even in the same circle, right? Yeah. So it's like you're getting like invited to something, but it's like because you're friends by proxy with this like, oh, you're never right. directly being like included in stuff. You know? Okay, so it wasn't until high school where you felt like you were back in the game. A little yeah, high bit. school was, you know, I got what a suburb were you from? Yeah, fucking Burr Ridge. Where is that? Is that by where Alex is from? That is. Where are you from? In I'm Chicago? from Northbrook. You're, you're probably like 45 minutes from me. Yeah. Oh, you're more by Aurora. I'm in the like, Western. yeah, I'm like Southwest suburbs. Oh, what high school did you go to again? Hinsdale South. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, Hinsdale. I've heard of Hinsdale. Yeah. I heard it's yeah. a nice place. Central like, is the. Oh, Central's the nice Central one. Central is the. That was yeah. a rival. Oh, the bougie one. Okay. okay. Yes. Nice, nice. <laughs> Drago. This is true. I love this Drago does a thing every podcast. He goes into Larry King mode, I call it. He's in I it right no, now. I, just, no, I think it's, it's interesting. He asks a bunch of questions. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I like Tell it. Tell about it's your good. childhood. Yeah, no, yeah that's what he well, does. I, He's I, like a psychologist. I, yeah, like, yeah, I like it. I like it. It's your first <laughs> memory of not being white. <laughs> it's funny that he brings it up, though, but then he doesn't pray. He just goes, Hmm. Yeah, no, he has not like a no that, follow up. There's not that, a claim after but that the, joke. There's no, there's no what, hypothesis. What I no. meant by that was like, there's that joke is so great because there's also just there's clearly just so much pain in that joke. Yeah, it's people say that though. I don't mean to talk. Like, I mean, it was fine. I got bullied, but I'm like, it's at one the end of my of the day, favorite like, jokes now of all time. I, now I do this, and it kind of evens out. You know what I mean? Right. I like to become interesting, so I'm kind of like. Yeah, we we cut yeah. the losses. A little bullying's good. I'm not I totally think. like I was traumatized. I right, am kind of right. like fuck it, you know. Yeah, they're all fucking. They they work at fucking like you know yeah. consultant. Yeah, yeah, they all hate their lives, and I'm Your like, life I'm fucking, is way better. Yeah, I'm chilling, dude. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, that's the way. To, that's the way to really get revenge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly. Did you, I'm not. I'm not to be Larry King doctor? now. I, I, I like it. King. I like it when you do it. Well, okay. Well, we'll ask Emil. We asked ourselves in our pod when we just did. Yeah. Any New Year's? What are you doing? New Year's? We got. We're talking New Year's. New What'd you do for New Year's? New Year's and do you have any resolutions? What we were talking. What's like culturally out in 2023? Ooh. I said GoFundMe's for animals are out. <laughs> yeah, you can't, yeah, yeah. I'm not paying for those ever again. Uh, Let the dog die. Working on yourself too much. 
That's you, out. You think, oh, Ooh. self-care's out. I think self-care. people are seeing the stress of self-care, and they're like, let's dial it back a little let's bit. Let's have a little yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to look at my phone a little more. Oh. I'm okay. fucking, I'm getting more and more like, you know what? <laughs> fucking, the train sucks. I'm fucking opening Let's scroll. Twitter, yeah, I don't yeah, need yeah. a book or, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah, you yeah. tried the book on the train before? Have you done that? I do, but I try to do it when I'm like not, I'm like, I'll be really anxious, and I'm like, all right, I got, now I got to fucking read. So I just do it at the wrong time. I'm like, the train sucks. I'm doing like music and fuck it i'm numbing out you know do you want to, it's fucked up i do i just found out because uh ish gave me that book oh you've been reading it, a book you're yeah. finally reading that book yeah wow i like, well, gave him a book 50 pages in it's what's called, it called it's again? called stoner by john williams okay it's, it's actually a, pretty good yeah what's it about? I'm 50 pages in it's about this guy he goes to Bro, but the amount of times books die at 50 pages in, yeah let me tell you. <laughs> 50 pages in, you're still in the honeymoon phase I, yeah I you, can't. you get to you're, you're getting to page 75 and you're never touching that I, book again i feel like because because there's cause no way Ish gave me the book how long now is I, it Sorry? How long is it? It's like 225 pages. No way. The amount of times I've gotten 50 pages in and been like, this is the fucking one? But, but yeah, yeah, but, yeah. And then but, you miss it one day it. and you yeah. forget but about it. But it was it. your yeah, book. Yeah. This guy, like, a, like a, a friend gave it to me. So now True. I feel, I feel like I have to, It's his book. He I feel specifically like I, said, like, uh, it could change your life. He's like, I gave it to someone else. Like, I'm Michael Rowland. Rowland and he's loved like, it. you got to read he it. he was like, he's like, I, I want you to read this. I was just like, because, like, I mean, I've talked about it on the pod a bunch. I I don't really read, I mean, at all. He hasn't read a book in two years, he Not since I read Sam Talent's stand-up book. Honestly, I haven't finished a book in years. See, really? This is why we hit it off. But I'll do audio. I will do audio books, Oh, audio books Again, right in the middle of you two. Okay, this is perfect. No books, audio books, scholar. Too many books. I'm on one and a half speed. I'm cheating it a little bit. Like, I am kind of a piece of shit. you got to do one and a half speed. I can only, I can't read on the train, dude. It's something like, my. it's like, Fucking, uh, I get like dizzy or something. You get like car sick. Yeah, I get that's car sick. But also, the train up? is fucking insane. If you, it's too many things going on. It's I don't know what's going I on. Love do to you have headphones out. on or do you? No, just, I never put headphones. I just on. Visit, There's too much sound. Yeah, I'll get and so I just and I, when I got like jumped, I had headphones on. And I blame it on the headphones, so I don't wear headphones oh, out shit. anymore. Yeah, I forgot you got jumped. Yeah, so I just like I rare almost never wear headphones out anymore. Yeah, well, yeah, some yeah. people call it jumped. A guy asked for your phone. Okay, you here the actual story. He never touched me physically, and I fell over in That's, a, that in a crumpled be. heap on the ground. Yeah, I'm, I'm That's the, so funny. I'm the biggest yeah. bitch of all you're, time. You're hinting like you lost a knife fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he took my gun. Wait, no. wait, what happened? If it's not too traumatic. I, I told on the pod the, the the long and short of it is that a guy who looked like Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. I don't know wa- the reference. But... Oh, he's like a skinny, long-haired white dude, like skinnier than me, like very skinny. And maybe a, like he's like, do you remember what's that guy's name? You looking at that guy? That okay. guy on the right. The guy on the right. Looked that like, looks pretty druggy. Looked though. If lot... I saw that guy yeah. asking me for something, I might also. Oh, he was be... tweaking out 100. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. on PCP or something. You might have made a good judgment call. That, that guy looks like me, too. Also in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you do look like the kid. <laughs> but he hopped in front of me at four in the morning, and he's like, give me your wallet. And I just, like, fell over before he even touched me. He just went like this, and I just, like, and, like <laughs> broke my wrist on the ground. Oh, yeah, he and broke it. I broke my wrist and had no, my phone. No contact. No contact. He even never have, touched he me. He assaulted you without even touching he's you. He's like, what the fuck? Why are you screaming? Dude, and then, so then I funny. lost my – I didn't have a wallet, actually, so I just lost my phone. You just gave me your phone. I did. I just had my credit card in my pocket. How much did you? What did you say right after you got up and fell? Did you say like? I feel like I would have said sorry. Oh or well, the, the, well. Here's the I next don't part. Know why. The next yeah. part of the story. Sorry, I was being dramatic. Okay. Okay. Well, Drago knows what happened next. But he, I walked away and then he called me back and said, "Hey man, I need your help." And then I went back and walked back and helped no. him reset my phone. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Factory reset my phone for Factory 15 reset. minutes. It took a long time. There's you ch- guys just stood around we on a stoop rocks? at four in the morning during COVID when the streets were deserted. Wait, how did you not just, I mean, I'd like I to think run. I would take it and sprint, but I don't know. Maybe in that situation I would have been I was frozen. really drunk. Okay. I was very drunk, but I sh- I could have brought. I'm pretty fat. I the think whole time I you were like, he him. has a knife. You well, he said he had a, a gun. He oh, said he had a gun. Shit. I put it 50 50 whether he. Yeah, did or you're not. spending 10 minutes I with think, him and you're like, still haven't seen yeah, this gun. Still haven't seen this gun. He yeah, talks about is, it a lot. Yeah. It's a low moment. And a guy said, "Give me your stuff," and you fell and broke your. I'd wrist. like to see what you did, dude. If I'd somebody like calls see- somebody on the "I have a gun" bluff, they're yeah. insane. <laughs> yeah, that's a wild. That's a fucking. Yeah, this man's your asking gun? to die. Would, it, what would you do if you were? Would you? It's not worth it. I think I would. I would do it, and then afterwards, I would be like. 
fuck. Like I would be like so alpha after the fact. Exactly. I'd be alpha. so high. I can't fucking believe it. But I would yeah. be so. I would cave so hard. Oh, exactly. I think Drago thinks you would. You think you would fight. You would. I not. think the guy says, "I have a gun. Give me your. Give me your phone." I say, "I. I, I fucking take my phone." If but you're I'm, a big guy. But if I'm 100 yards away from him and then he says, wait, I need to reset it, I'm booking it. <laughs> yeah, I'm that, that's fair. I was probably 50 yards away. But, but to his yeah. defense, then you're thinking, I just got to get all my info off this. You know, wouldn't you that rather know that, that all your shit was yeah, he off couldn't of get it? on my Venmo because he reset it. He could have used my Venmo. I don't, if he I don't got really your password, know why. yeah. I think that's, it might oh, have been that's open a good point. or something. And, I can't remember. A, if, oh, if it, it was it, open, I think it was so already. So if you factory reset the phone, then technically he can't really take anything from they you besides the Someone's using my phone right now somewhere, for sure. He yeah. sold it to someone. It wasn't a great phone. It was a decent phone. It was like an iPhone 8 or something two years ago. No one's got that anymore. Pretty good. As some poor person probably. I probably made some poor person's day. You should maybe. I wonder what the move. Maybe throw it on the ground. If someone goes, oh, you phone, shatter it. That'd be kind of. But they say I have a gun, and then you shatter it. Do they shoot you? I think that I have a gun. But I don't think. I see. I think that's why people call people on the I have a gun thing. I, I think pe most people won't shoot. No, they won't. Do people just I mean, usually? This is show. not good. Don't follow this advice. <laughs> yeah. but Do you believe most people have the, have the, have the balls to take the fucking shot? That's what I, I'm telling I you. I don't think he had a gun. The more I say it. Because he would show it, right? But also, why, like, would, you not, would, show why would you not show it if you're and already also, robbing me? And also, who would me? rob? Who would sh who would kill someone over a phone? I don't no, know. I yeah, don't yeah, it's not even a grab a phone. I don't know. A four a.m. gunshot in Chicago wouldn't be the craziest thing. But it was you in a saying? nice. It was in Lakeview, Lincoln Park. It was a great neighborhood. It was like a nice. Play. Dude, it was kind of crazy. Jeff, there was there it's was not a good there, there, shoot, there was shooting yeah, 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 there were shootings by the red line the whole time I lived there in in Lakeview. Uh, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, but Chicago's safe. Let's you not go on a dangerous tirade about Chicago. I mean, dude, there's a. It's... I never. That was the only thing that ever happened to me. Yeah. You lived there longer than I did. Anything ever happened to you? Nothing crazy. No. Chris had to barrel. Chris Higgins had to barrel roll out of an Uber because the guy was like fucking with him. Like he. The guy was what... trying to rob him in an Uber. I think something like he was taking him so far off. Away from the show he was trying to go to. <laughs> he, was giving, Chris, he was doing a shortcut. Chris, I get that all the time. <laughs> yeah. like, Are you lost? And I'm like, no, this guy's fucking. They just go off Chris, the rails. This guy's yeah. from the town. He knows every <laughs> yeah. fucking alley. At yeah. least, I mean, Chris this barrel rolled out of the Uber. He, he said he barrel rolled out of the Uber. How fast was it going? He said the, as the guy was turning, he, he was downtown. The guy was turning downtown. Jesus, that's a bold move. I mean, he must have felt in danger, but that's wild. Can yeah. you imagine if you weren't threatening somebody, though, and like you were just normal and they were tweaking, and they just barrel rolled out of <laughs> Or it's just your first what Uber. What if it's your first Uber drive? You're like, you're like, oh, man, I'm real bad at this. Like, the guy's I like, have a lot of social anxiety. Yeah. He's already out. Oh, yeah. Fuck. The guy's you're, like, people was, really don't like yeah, me. Yeah, that guy yeah. killed himself the next yeah. day. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I get it's the long way. He's just but, talking like, about his day. Yeah. He's yeah, like, yeah, just yeah. telling. Like a basic story. Well, my wife likes when I'm out driving Uber. She just gets me out of the house. <laughs> Barrel rolls out. She's like, this is going to take five minutes longer. Yeah. Yeah. That is very funny. I think we're here. I think we got to wrap up. Though. We're wrapping it up? Oh, yeah. God, we got five minutes. One more little question to land the plane, Alex. Hit a meal with the question then. Okay. This is a question. <laughs> You forgot. I love how you put no work. I, it's, it's okay. We got one. Okay, I did have a question. Oh yeah. Don't don't you don't you have a question from the listeners? Oh yeah, I actually did. Oh, this is actually great. This is perfect. I don't know how to say the name. It's X I C O Chico Zico. I don't know. S I no, X I C O. X I C O. I think it's you Zico. Go Zico. That, I think it's Zico Zico. Greenwald. I believe their name's Zico. What's the worst joke you've ever performed on stage? This is actually perfect for everyone. Oh no. Worst joke. Let's say worst joke that worked. A joke you're embarrassed about, because I feel like we've all told bad jokes that didn't make sense. But oh, it's man. like most offensive joke. I think that's what they're getting at, honestly. Most offensive. I think that's joke? what they mean by worst joke, like most offensive joke. Oh. I ha I know mine. It I, it's really bad. But does anyone? Okay, I'll go. I don't. Further. I want to skip this question. Yeah, maybe, that maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean my the okay. I'll say mine. It's maybe not, we. Maybe this is Patreon only. <laughs> it is Patreon. Oh, only. oh okay. Does this, no. this whole Patreon thing only? Patreon this only? This is Patreon only. Oh, okay. Oh, no, yeah, no, we also yeah we, we can let loose. Yeah, this, yeah. Your episode. We but we will release oh, it publicly wow. in a couple months too. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, they get it for a couple months. I'll I'll it I'll say mine. I did Chinese voice two weeks ago on the Patreon, so you know. I'll, I'll show you this, bro. I'm gonna I, show you the clip, dude. It's I so failed funny. to do it. Oh I didn't do God. it well. Okay, when I was first starting, I did a joke where I was like, "I'm German, and you know, we killed a lot of a lot of Jewish people. It feels like I have six thousand people on my back sometimes, uh, but thankfully they don't weigh a lot." <laughs> 
or something oh like that. Oh, my God. Not a good joke. I, you oh, were fucked up from the start. Yeah, that, but that's, like, bad. That's a bad fucked up joke. I can yeah, admit yeah, yeah. that was bad, and I apologize to any listeners who didn't like that, but it was a different time. It was pre-Kanye. Did, did did it, would it do well, or would people It would go, get, oh. like, a shock laugh at an open mic. Okay. And like at the open like where the college kids were there, it didn't bomb. I wouldn't say it bombed, but yeah. I realized it was a bad thing to say out loud. Right, right, yeah. right. But you, when you start, I feel like you tell like really dark. Oh, the shock totally. humor is easy. Shock yeah, you don't humor. know what else gets a reaction. Yeah, you're you're like, like, those words are just buzzy. It's going to get a third of the loser, like the fucked up losers to laugh. Even, right, right, but right. But then like right. everyone else will hate you and never want to look at you but like yeah you get yeah. that reaction totally yeah you create some sound in the room yeah exactly You're like, like it didn't bomb this is all they i just have didn't get my anti-semitic material yeah this is the get... only five minutes i had yeah exactly you guys can't leave me on the limb after i did that i had a really like a fucking dumb i thought it was like a funny like misdirect I think I, I I said the word midget. This is like oh yeah, this yeah. is like five years ago maybe. Okay, okay, not 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 cancelable, misguided, but yeah, not yeah, good. Yeah. You stop telling it. That's why the it's joke okay. is the joke was worse. <laughs> what was the joke? The joke was uh, tell me if this is really bad. If this is really bad, you have to cut it then. But it, <laughs> the joke okay. was like I think it was like uh, oh I just found out like midgets or I or sorry like little people like actually hate it when you call them the n-word and i was like that's so funny like i thought it was the funniest fucking and then i remember like a week later i was like that's the worst most crass shit that i don't whole... think i i wouldn't say that on stage but it's not can it's not cancelable no, ju- no, no. okay i just I could I, see okay, i actually just I, tried a joke at, just at, like at, that at, at an, oh like, no this, oh. Is, this is a bad <laughs> he's, he's <laughs> deleting his, <laughs> his, his clothes are off his set list <laughs> he's right. not doing that at sesh tonight <laughs> not doing that one what is it what is uh I'll just did read. you do this or this i is tried a... this at an open mic like three weeks ago and it actually worked so okay. it's, uh, I saw my old Spanish teacher when I was back home, and she was like, "So, are you s- still speaking yet?" And I was like, "I want to, but all my friends are white." You know, that's how it goes sometimes. Like, I wish I could ta- speak to a Spanish class now. You know, the teacher's like, "In the future, you'll need this." I'm like, "Or just avoid them." You know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, or, that's, that's funny. That's, that's like, funny. Yeah, it, I, it doesn't play in, in the. What in the, the hell? Like, he's giving uh, he's giving a, a joke from last week. I know. He's giving like, jokes from like our first year yeah, in comedy. He, what the fuck? That's that was like, my first open. That joke's like, not <laughs> offensive. Really. That joke. That joke's offensive. If you you if you added a little tag to soften the blow, it'd be fine. But it's done in the a uh, way like, where you you're the you're, bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's. I don't it's think an it, offensive it, joke told in a way that you can say it. And it's you know you're wrong to say it. Of course. You have like a snide little. Oh, I'm gonna say this. I bet while you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, he has it in italics. I'm gonna be a little naughty. That's your. One. That's where we might lose him I, for a second. Yeah. <laughs> italics, italics means put your body in a little bit of an yeah. oh, shake, okay. shake, do a little shake. Late night comedy here. <laughs> yeah. That's a good joke. You could say, and that, but yeah, avoid them or live in Logan Square. Yeah. Or, or, just, call, or just call them out. Like, yeah, yeah. or live in, yeah. Yeah, because okay. that's what you should do. Or live yeah, in Williamsburg. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or work or in consulting. In, or live here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work in marketing. Yeah, yeah. No, what was, oh, the joke, dude. That was one of my favorite jokes you used to do. That was. Right. That was so fucked up. It was uh, uh, when you first uh, when you uh, when you first moved to New York when you were like because uh, oh, I think it, I know what you're it's, it's the coffee joke. Oh yeah, tell that, me all, tell okay, me. Okay, that that's a good example of a joke that is funny that I won't tell anymore. I'm like. I get really nervous. I get a lot of white guilt, you know, like I can't even order. I don't I don't like ordering my coffee black. It makes me feel weird. Like I'm just like, can I have my coffee the way this neighborhood used to be? <laughs> that's good. I think that's I don't I feel weird saying it. I don't know. I might I might I bring it back. Passes. Really? Yeah. You I think, think that's allowed? It's, it's like making fun of gentrifying. Well, I think you're, yeah, I, like okay, you're, maybe right? I'll bring I'll, that back I, actually. Well, I think I think it's I think if you Part of the setup has to be the how you live in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, I, and I yeah. think that I think that makes the joke hit so so right. Hard. Yeah, yeah, I live yeah, in yeah. Brooklyn that has to now. Be okay, but I have a lot of white guilt. I go to the coffee shop. Yeah. Okay. It. Yeah. Maybe I will bring that back. I think I it's a good joke. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's so I funny. Write that down. He's trying to get the cellar tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you got yeah, but you got. I'm, I'm unpassed. But, but, the, yeah. uh, <laughs> but the Brooklyn thing has to be in the setup. Yeah, you got it. You got it. It's not quite. Not. I should just say I'm gentrifying my neighborhood. Yeah, I should just say, because I, I am. I'm literally, I'm yeah. on the front lines. I'm judging my neighborhood. I'll admit it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I'm on like, you're in Bushwick, but you're in the part that's been gentrified for like five years. I'm in the 
the next wave. You're a pioneer. It. I'm a kind of a pioneer a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd say twenty percent of the neighborhood's gentrifiers. Yeah. I would yeah, say. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it weird though? You see it though, and you go, Yeah, but I'm not. It's not me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not. Damn. I don't make enough money. I don't. Well, it is not though. It's the people yeah. who buy a three thousand dollar law. Yeah, you're like month. I'm renting. I'm out of here. Yeah, in the I fucking... have four roommates. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Not yeah. Gentrifying. When my COVID deal goes away, I'm gone. Dude. Yeah, exactly, oh, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I'm going rent controlled if I ever win the lottery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Drago. I think we got to close oh, up. Oh, I got to go to the oh, show. Oh, I got to go to my show, too. Okay, let's wrap it up. Emil, what do you got? Thank you for doing this. What do you got to nice. plug? What's coming up? Oh, I have some. Week, I have coming some... out next week, next okay. Monday. Nice. So. I got some road dates. Where are you at? I'm going to be like in Texas, uh, Arizona. Oh, where are you at? This is, I should know this info. I just made the poster today. Oh, shit. I don't even know. <laughs> you know what city you're in? Uh, Phoenix. Phoenix. Okay. Phoenix, Arizona, Plano, Texas. Oh, House of Comedy, probably. House of Comedy. Nice. I'm doing the Alamo Draft House. Oh, you know, those are good. Yeah. Nice. I'll oh. post it on my. On oh, that's going to be fun as hell. Yeah, yeah, I'm going on a little run. Nice. In 2023. Oh, hell awesome. yeah. yeah. And what's your IG? It's your name, right? Yeah, just first and last. Emil Joaquim, everyone. Follow him on Instagram. Hilarious <laughs> comic. Drago, what do you got? Or we're plugging the same things we plugged. Oh, yeah. But we still should do it. Uh, headlining Duck Duck Laughs. That's what duck, it's duck called. Duck Duck Goose. Yeah. Duck Duck Goose. Why would it be Duck Duck Laughs? It's a pun on Duck Duck Goose. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> why would it be? Why would it be Duck Duck Laughs? Uh, yeah. It's it's in, it's in Cambridge, Mass. It's in Boston. I'll be there January nineteenth to the twenty. It's a great great show. You should go. I'm in Indy next week, thirteenth and fourteenth, Helium added late shows please come this has been our fifth patreon remember to subscribe tell your friends we need more r words uh thank you for listening you've been an idiot bye